And now, back to the show. Here's Jen and Truda. Blake, tough decision. Who is the winner of this battle? I think in this case, I have to just kind of go with a, with a gut feeling. Uh, the winner of this battle was Cassie. Oh, look at that. Cassie, Cassie Joy! Joy. Oh, man, that was such a good show last night. <laughs> last night's The Voice to right here in studio with us. Let's say good morning to Cassie Joy. Good morning. Hey there. I have to tell you, so I walk in. When I come in in the morning, I talk to our security guard downstairs every morning on my way in. And this morning I stopped to talk to Eric. And he's like 50 years old. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, just to give you a heads up, we have somebody coming in studio today. She'll be here about 8. And he goes, who is it? And I said, oh, it's a girl, Cassie Joy. She's on the show, The Voice. And he cuts me off and goes, The Voice, the girl who's from Smithville. But she's lived in Nashville for a couple of years. (laughs) And immediately starts spouting off all these facts about you. Like, he knew everything about you. Oh, that's awesome. And then he just sent me a text two minutes ago. He's like, she is tiny and she's so cute. And I'm like, okay. (laughs) Thank you. Slow down, Eric. All righty. So he's the one liking everything on your Twitter page then. He's the fan page. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Now we figured it out. Have you seen that a lot, though, since The Voice hit? Just a lot. Yes, and it's so amazing. It's, I mean, it's it's what I've been, you know, dreaming of since I was a little girl. So yeah. for it to, I mean, it's just kind of exploded overnight, and I am just loving every minute of it. I bet. Yeah, last night was great to watch your battle round. <laughs> yeah. What was it? So what was it like going into the battle round? Because you've got to face somebody on your own team. You're like, oh my gosh, it's like two men in or one men leaves. It's like, oh, this is this could be bad. It was terrible. Yeah. Like, you know, I got battled against Ashley, and she's one of my good friends out out yeah. there. Um, okay. Because you know we spend a lot of time together. The contestants do. Right. So, um, yeah, I was like, oh, anyone but Ashley. Like, she's my bud. So, like, you you go in like you know wondering how much competitiveness you're gonna you're gonna go in with you know so that was that was tough i kind of felt like it was like survivor of the voice yeah and luckily somebody else picked her up right so she's not off the show but for a second there you're like i could be this person's ticket out of here Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's kind of a bad no pressure at all yeah Yeah. right yeah it was bittersweet but yeah i'm so glad she got stolen yeah that's great that's awesome and it was cool because i the thing that i picked up from watching you and then gwen referenced it that there's just something about you that seems a little more practiced. What word did she use? I don't remember. But you just seem like you know what you're doing up there. A little more there. polished. A little more polished up there. Yeah, and, yeah. Well, I've been doing it for, you know, singing since I was five. Um, mm-hmm. And then the past two years, I've been playing down on Broadway in Nashville. So I'm getting quite a bit of practice. I'm playing, you know, four-hour sets every day. So um, it's definitely been like boot camp, you know. Right. So I'm I feel super prepared going into, you know the voice (laughs) and you grew up in Smithville Mm -hmm. around that area and you started at a talent show yeah yeah I was at the the Smithville talent show in the courtyard (laughs) and uh you know it's then this summer I'm coming back to that same stage oh wow to play hopefully with good results oh that's awesome that's just coming full circle yeah that's awesome it's really cool what song did you sing as a young five-year-old at the Smithville talent show I sang Angels Among Us wow by Alabama it was the only uh karaoke song we had on a cassette tape (laughs) Oh. If you young whippersnappers know what a cassette tape is, <laughs> Shaylee, we'll explain later. You I may know need to tell is. the millennial here what that means. I know what is it that is. that like a Snapchat filter? <laughs> I've heard of those. Wow, that seems like a big song for a five year old. It was super random song with like a talking intro and yeah. yeah, but it was you know it's all I found in my parents' cassette collection. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and then so that parlays into what like high school theater? Like how does that grow with you? So from there, my mom. Um, uh, kind of did some research on how to get famous. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> quick uh, Google search. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she found out about the Midwest um, Opry circuit, so we would go, you know, to Paola and um, Tonganoxie, Fort Scott, and play in the Opry's and Jubilees, and you know all those shows. And uh, then we went to Nashville, and I recorded a CD. And um, then I got picked up by Radio Disney when I was about twelve, so I moved into pop music. And then um, when I was about fourteen or 15 I started with the school of rock so I moved on to rock music and um came back to country uh, about five six years ago and now you're hashtag team Blake there's yeah. my life story just move wow. through all the genres yeah yep. that's cool though cool. yeah it definitely helps me you know be well-rounded I'm terrified of being like pigeonholed into one sound so I think it helps me you know stay versatile now we've only heard you sing country on the voice so far are yeah. they gonna make you spread out a little bit 
your guess is as good as mine. I'm just, right. I told him, hey, I'll do whatever yeah. I need to do. Just keep me on. Yes. <laughs> Bring me back another week. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you, you, you mentioned spending time outside of The Voice with your team in particular. Were you guys rehearsing a whole bunch? You trying to get ready for the battle round? And, you know, what are the rehearsals like then? Yeah, so... um we do uh, the rehearsal that you saw with just the piano um, and then Luke and Blake. And um, that was crazy. I yeah. like don't even remember that. I mean, I was like seriously <laughs> out of breath. When they walk in the room, you're like, no. Yeah, and you really don't know who it is. And yeah. so I was like, oh, it's going to be like Carrie Underwood or maybe it'll be Reba. Right. You know, and uh, walked in just <laughs> never thinking it would be Luke Bryan. And I mean, yeah. Ashley had to like shove me through the door. I was like, I can't do <laughs> Luke. Um, so yeah, we did that. I don't even remember. I mean, that was a, a waste. I was just like <laughs> <laughs> dead. But you know, you say that, but in watching that, just in your rehearsal, I remember marking down the moment that I had chills. And I'm like, I Aww. chills just <laughs> listening to them rehearse. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, it was cool. Um, and when Ashley and I sang it together the first time, I mean, we were like, whoa, we should be a duo. <laughs> we sound yeah. really cool yeah. together. Yeah, right. Yeah, our voices blended really well. So I see why Blake paired us together, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. It's nice. too bad they're so ugly and you had to stare at them for so long. I know, yeah. That's that unfortunate. Thank you. If you need me as a stand in, mm. that's fine. I mean, if you <laughs> want me to just. I mean, you're very tiny anyway. They are very big guys. So yeah. Blake what was that is like? taller than, than you think. Yeah. Mm. He's, yeah, they're both very tall. Yeah. And how do they smell? We've discussed this. We, you missed, we Shaley have, missed the first oh, time that we talked to you. This is where I get outnumbered by like, the girls on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Country oh, man. Hey, can yeah. you stick around for a little bit? Absolutely. Well, let's take a break and come okay. back with more from Cassie Joy. You saw her on The Voice last night moving on in the battle round. All right, it's 8-12 on the show. We'll check traffic and weather next. Thanks. How blue, how blue can you make me? How Last night's The Voice. One of these voices in studio with us right now, Cassie Joy, is here at the show. Hey, hey. Good morning. Do you see this? Do you see the goosebumps? <laughs> Do you see the hair standing up? Yeah. She's so good. I'm not just saying Time that because you're... Time to shave your arms. <laughs> <laughs> so good. What, do you, what does that make you feel like hearing that back and seeing yourself? Do you, I mean, are you one that likes to listen and watch yourself? I do, and, and I'm a picker, yeah. you know, so I'll yeah. listen to it and, you know, tear it apart and, you know, try to fix stuff for next time, for sure. <laughs> what was it like watching yourself the first time? It was exciting. Um, I'm excited to to keep watching it where I can hear, you know, we did a watch party at in Smithville and, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, it's a little crazy there. So, um, yeah, it was, it's awesome though. I mean, we, we don't see any of this before, you know, we're not really prepped or I, I didn't see any of the other battles before last night so wow. it's just really neat to okay. see it all come together nice and we were talking off the air about kind of the cattle call process the early auditions and you were saying that your fiance brian who's here with <laughs> you who also grew up in smithville you guys went to high school yeah. together he auditioned as well yes yeah a while back um yeah i wanted brian to uh be able to stand in line with me the whole day and uh, i figured the only way to do that was uh if he auditioned and, and tried to be famous too. <laughs> Give him your mic. Brian, what did you So uh, Brian, what happened? What'd you sing? Yeah. Oh my. I sang a uh gosh, what was the name of that song? Yeah, I uh it was a Josh Turner song and I forgot the words halfway through <laughs> <Twice>. the audition. <laughs> So yeah, to believe it or not, two times in the same song, and uh, I was so embarrassed. I leave, I leave all the singing to her. She's, she's the one with all the talent. But he was a trooper. Well, that's great to do, you know, moral support. Yes. Like, honey, I'm gonna try to do what you do. Yeah. And, and you didn't try to do something as a duo. Oh no, we not no duo. <laughs> thank goodness. That'll be the next round. Yeah. I, I hope whenever I can. Thank goodness she hasn't asked me to sing with her yet. Now, what did you audition with? What back then? What were you singing? Um, I think I started with an Adele song, like, oh. you know, and so I had tried out a few times and I, I even told Blake, um, after the blind auditions, like, yeah, I've tried out, you know, nearly every season, but you know, I look back at my audition choices and I was like, I'm country pop rock. I'm this, I'm that. And yeah. now I just feel like I'm so much more, um, my own artist and I know who I am now. And, um, it's just, you know, I think it's definitely a better time for me. Yeah. And now you're back home in Smithville for, you don't know how, how long? Before you have to go back out for the voice, um, yeah, um, I I go back out in about a week um, for the knockouts and oh, 
Mm. All righty, we'll see what happens. Makes me nervous. If when you listen to music, what else do you listen to? Do you listen to other stuff? Do you listen to rock? Do you listen to pop music? Yeah, I actually listen to um, everything that I can. Um, as I said before, I just I like to know of every you know type of music so I can stay really well rounded and um, you know versatile in my sound. Um, like I'm super random. I love. Um, Tegan and Sarah, Lana Del Rey, um, yeah. Rob Zombie, Shine Down, <laughs> nice. um, Reba. You know, so I'm I'm all over the place. <laughs> all right, so if they drop some metal on you for the next round of the show, oh, you're, yeah. you're like, I'm prepared. <laughs> oh, I yeah. can do this. <laughs> we were talking about Ed Sheeran a couple of days ago, and he was saying how early on people were sending him cakes as gifts. He said a lot of people were making me cakes, and I ate them because I'm a dude and I wanted cake. And then all of a sudden he cut into one, and there was a giant glob of hair. <gasps> and he decided at that point, Point. I'm not Maybe stop eating the cakes. Gonna eat the cakes. Have you yeah. gotten? Have you hit the point where you're getting bizarre? Maybe not cakes with wads of hair, but have you something else weird? A bizarre gift or weird messages? I've gotten some weird messages and some weird um, photoshopped. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. We're trying to stop him. But Is this a court of law? Are right, we under um, right. oath? Okay. Yeah, but yeah, I haven't uh, received anything to eat yet, so I guess I, I'll go yet. ahead and not eat. Send those to 508 Westport Road Suite 202, by the way. After, <laughs> on Monday, when yes. we can eat it. Wait, Minus somebody gets cakes. Hair. Hold on a second now. <laughs> well, hopefully not creepy gifts. Send do you get me time, Chipotle. Uh, do you get time to like watch TV? Do you have any favorite TV shows, anything like that? Um, I love Pretty Little Liars, mm. not going to lie. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I actually watch a lot of TV. Um, I, this is us. Are you on the This Is Us I, bandwagon? I am, have not started it, so okay. no spoilers. Nope, nobody um, say anything. Yeah, I do watch uh, soap operas every day. <laughs> okay. Which ones? I am an old lady. Uh, the Young and the Restless. Yes. And the Bold That's and the, the Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched Young and the Restless since sixth grade. You get hooked. Yeah. I can't what? help it. And even if you stop, because the brilliant thing is, like, mm. I would go two or three years without watching it, and then you turn it on. It's the exact yeah, same people. The and the same still alive. Yes. Yeah. And just married to someone new. It's right? like three weeks Nobody's. later. Right. Yeah. The thing I don't in their under- world, you yep. know? The thing yeah. I don't understand about soap operas is one minute the, there's a baby and then a week later he's like driving. Well, you right. know, there's a fast Or life. died but How came back happen? to life. Yes. Yeah. Three yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. I love it. I don't get it. Now, what? Uh, so you guys have been traveling. You just got back from Montana. Yeah. You've been going around. Yeah. And we just got back from um, Nashville, too. Uh, we left yesterday morning. And uh, we got into Smithville at 515 and left the house by 6 to get to the watch party. And oh, wow. It's craziness. Wow. What do you do to pass the time in the car? Are you singing duets? Do you Then do you pull out yeah, the singing voice, Yeah, we Brian? do our car. Carpool karaoke. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, no, I have been living on social media. I mean, yeah. nonstop since all of this. So I just sit and, and tweet and Snapchat and yep. all the things. <laughs> How can people follow you? What are your names? Um, all of my handles, um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are at Cassie Joy Music. And my Snapchat is at Cassie Joy McCall. And Cassie is C-A-S-I, Cassie yes. Joy Music. You can remember it. It's like casino without the no. <laughs> I know this because autocorrect. People are always like, what's up, casino? I'm like, iPhone, gotcha. <laughs> That's great. I'm so, I thought it was so cool. I'm like, I'm watching you last night at nine o'clock, and then you were in studio this morning at eight. I thought that was really cool that you would take the time to come in and oh, absolutely. hang out with us this morning. When you go back to Smithville, are people like, oh my gosh, Cassie? I mean, you just, it, they just mob you everywhere? Kind of. Um, I mean, it's a small town, you know. It's yeah. it's certainly yeah. not the same as coming into you know Westport. You know, I don't think anyone's gonna really care. But like Smithville, <laughs> well, that dude you know, was passed the... out. So that's what I'm <laughs> um, Eric, Different. the security guard, hey, was no, very what? excited. No, that's true. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in you know, in our little town of Smithville, I've I've been singing for these people since I was five. So yeah, that's awesome. So a lot of the town is you know they're just super proud and and so supportive, and I'm just really grateful for for Smithville. That's awesome. Very cool. Well, we're gonna make a video with you here. Mm-hmm. When we get off the air, Shaylee's going to do a video. We'll post that on our Facebook and share that all around so you guys have to watch that too. But we're all watching. So excited for you. Thank you, guys. Everybody's pulling for you. Cassie Joy, everybody in studio. Make sure to check out uh, all of your social media and check out our Twitter and Facebook page later because we'll definitely be posting this on the podcast and a little video cast that we're doing today as well too. Yep. So there we go. Here's your performance from the first uh, go around of The Voice. Such a good song. Everybody turned around. Everybody wants Cassie Joy. Right? Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for having me. All right. Best of luck to you. 834 now at the show. We'll be right back after this.